What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be talking about some hidden features with the A90 MK5 Toyota Supra. So the first things first, looking from the exterior of the car, is uh, these grills. It's got a lot of little aerodynamic grills. We got some on the door, we got some on the hood, we also have one piece right over here. Now unfortunately, like most modern cars, the air vents are fake. That vent is fake, that vent is fake, that vent is fake. And these two, you can't really do much about it. Even if you run, go ahead and try to drill holes through them, um, the the actual metal of the car is blocking the air vents. Unlike this one right here, and unlike this one over here, if you guys actually replace these companies, actually make replacement parts for this piece right here and this piece right here, and you guys can replace these fake grills with real grills that will actually help with some aerodynamics and also help cooling the brakes. I know that sounds a little bit weird and why the factory did not actually do this. Now, I honestly could be wrong. I mean, the way they did this car could be better, but there's some aftermarket companies that are saying that their grills with the actual holes in them that actually directs air inside of it is better for aerodynamics. And you guys have to check that up online. That is one interesting thing that I found out about this car. And I think it's kind of cool. And I am considering on possibly switching out that particular grill. Now, another hidden feature with this car that's kind of unique. Unlike most cars, you typically only have two windshield nozzles. Literally almost every car I've ever seen, even exotic cars, they only have one windshield nozzle here, one windshield nozzle over here. But this car, if you go ahead and click uh, the, the, the windshield nozzle spray, there is one, two, <laughs> one, two, and three windshield nozzles. Kind of an interesting thing. I've actually never seen a car have three of them. I think that's super unique. I think that's something that all cars should have because you literally get the full surface area of the entire windshield. So I absolutely love that. Another thing looking inside the interior would be the back of these seats. Now, no one can actually sit back here, but back here, if you guys look, we have a hidden compartment, which I actually have the second plate of the car back here. And both seats actually have this little pocket here. Now these seats are actually Toyota Supra dedicated seats. Like these seats are not shared with any other vehicle as far as I know. And uh, it's just kind of weird for Supra seats to actually have pouches behind because it's not like anybody's sitting back here. Maybe Toyota actually wanted a hidden compartment right back here. So I think that's super unique and super cool. Now, so coming to the next thing, uh, this car is a Toyota. Absolutely, this is a Toyota. But if you guys look at the interior, for those of you guys who are also BMW enthusiasts, you will notice that this is a BMW. This is straightforward a BMW. This is comes straight out of a BMW. This comes straight out of a BMW. These buttons come straight out of a BMW. And uh, literally all this, this is from a BMW. This, this infotainment system is from a BMW. Literally this engine is from a BMW. Exactly engine if you guys don't believe me literally grab a BMW b58 engine cover put it on this engine and you guys will see that it will be a direct fit and also if you guys look around to the side of the car BMW logo right here and every single sensor has a BMW logo on it I don't know if you guys can really see these are BMW hoses I'm a BMW guy so I just know that but yeah if you literally look at this hose right here BMW it's just kind of a crazy car because everything is Toyota badged on it but this thing by heart is a BMW. And another hidden feature about this car that a lot of people don't know about is not only is the engine and transmission from a BMW, but also the suspension on this car is from a BMW M2. So this is kind of like a little baby M car, if you guys think about it. It's a very, very, very tiny car. It performs and drives very, very, very nicely. Got the beautiful Supra badging on the car. I love the name. Honestly, this is like one of the best collaborations I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of collaborations that BMW do with other makes like Land Rover. And I believe a few other companies, but this is by far my favorite collaboration I've ever seen. Just because the super name is already big as it is and having a BMW heart into a car that has an amazing name is just a win-win for me, especially as you guys know, as a BMW guy, there's just no nine that. So because this is a BMW, for those people that actually buy this car coming from the JDM world, coming from um, owning a previous Toyota, you guys probably won't know that this infotainment system from BMW is actually touchscreen. I know a lot of my friends that walk in this car don't even assume this is a touchscreen, but this is a touchscreen. So for those of you guys who buy this car used and didn't know, this is a touchscreen, which is super cool. All the new BMWs actually have this exact same system in their car and is touchscreen. If you guys actually click on Apple CarPlay over here, again, it's, it's, it's very easy to use. And and it's just super funny to see a Toyota over here because literally in my other car, exact same system, but it says BMW. Just kind of crazy to see there. Also, because this is technically a BMW, these buttons are also most other BMWs, but for Toyota, they actually never have this where you hover your finger above these buttons. I'm not clicking anything as you guys can see. And as you guys can see, I'm switching between the settings 
I'm not clicking anything and you can go between the settings. It's kind of like a, a touchless uh, button or I don't know if you would say like, I'm just hovering over these buttons straight up and it's going through all the menus. So that is also another hidden thing from someone that purchases this car not coming from a BMW. I think it's super cool. And I honestly don't know how this system works, but I love it, I love it. Another thing with this car that a lot of people don't know about is that this is not just a scroll wheel. As you guys can see, you can scroll through all the letters and uh, stuff like that. But the cool thing about this is that this is actually a touch screen. If I go ahead and draw the letter A with my finger, it will automatically take it in. If I draw, you know, the letter B, for example, it will take it in. So it's super, super, super cool how this stuff works. This is a touch screen. Again, not something that most people know, but uh, yeah, it's a nice little feature that this car has. Again, a lot of technology in this car and I absolutely love it. Now the next feature is actually something very unique and that would have to be the auto cruise control. This car has an auto cruise control feature. Um, the buttons are right over here. A lot of modern BMWs also have this auto cruise feature. It doesn't come standard. This is the super premium. The premium does come standard with these buttons right here and maybe other supers as well, but I do know the premium comes standard with this and basically this allows you to keep a distance so not only is there a cruise control not only is there a distance cruise control but unlike bmws this one can actually pace the car in front of you so what does that mean exactly if you guys are coming from a bmw car um you guys won't know what this is but if you guys are coming from a toyota you would know what this is and basically when you're actually driving behind a car you can set your cruise control and you can set the distance from the car in front of you if he breaks your car will break and you can actually it will literally come to a complete stop so if you're not paying attention for whatever reason this is a great safety feature and the car in front of you is going 80 you set your cruise control 80 two car distance it will literally pace the car in front of you 80 for example and if you all of a sudden just slams on the brakes this car will automatically slam on the brakes and keep that distance away from the car in front of you now obviously if the car in front of you slams into a car this car is not going to be able to react that fast and what you need to do is obviously be awake and be able to turn the steering wheel the car won't automatically turn the wheel but it will automatically brake and accelerate on its own with the cruise control feature i think it's super cool because again bmws don't have that toyotas have that a nice little collaboration touch it's like as if they grab the best features from both worlds and I, that's that's another reason why i just love this car now another thing with this car uh that's kind of upsetting but uh it's an easy fix is that this engine is actually detuned so from the factory this engine should be pushing around 400 horsepower this particular engine i believe like pushes around 380 i think supers push around 380 385 somewhere around those numbers don't absolutely kill me in the comments but all i know is that this engine is actually partially detuned and there's a few things on this car you're not going to see on B58s, which I believe this is a muffler over here. This can be actually deleted to bypass the detune. All you got to do is pretty much just put a tune on this thing and you'll fully unlock this beast. And not only unlock it, you can add so much power. Literally, I had a JB4 on this car and this thing was just a monster. Day and night difference with just a JB4. I, I, didn't, I literally did not do any bolt-ons to this car. Just slapped a JB4 on it and bada bing bada bang this thing was just unlocked a beast it's insane so yeah just a little hidden feature about this car that it is kind of muffled and i don't know why they did it by the factory you can go ahead and just unlock that muffle and unlock its true potential so yeah that pretty much concludes the hidden feature section of this video i think also something that a lot of people don't know about this car i mean this is not a hidden feature but uh the way this car sounds from the factory and i did get this car kind of warmed up so you guys are about to hear the exhaust but this thing from the factory has some crazy pops and crackles um, for a stock exhaust. I think it's because of the GR exhaust from Toyota. Um, this car, a B58, doesn't normally sound this good when you get a 340, but on the Supra, it sounds insane. So just a little, I guess, I guess a hidden feature. If, you, if you're trying to look out for the best B58, no one actually really says how good this thing sounds. this video make sure to smash the like button if i left anything out make sure to comment it down below but without further ado guys it's gonna have to conclude this video i love y'all so much remember to stay humble see y'all the next one peace out